Okay, let's go. There's a photograph. Now, look at that. Isn't that a very angry-looking shark, isn't it? Right, I want to just do a quick sketch of this. Just the outline of the shark, okay? Uh, let's see. I'm not going to zoom in so much, I don't think, on the, as on the photograph. Um, because it's very close, isn't it? So, I'm going to start with the corner, then over the point of the nose. And let's just come across. Let's give it a little wiggle. Um, okay, and it comes down like that. And it kind of goes off down on an angle like that, doesn't it? And then, this looks like a landscape, doesn't it? Right, and then the nose, it's not a pointy nose, but it kind of comes down like that. And then, uh, now let's just go another bit. Now, looking at the photograph, if I bring this line straight down, we have the corner of the mouth down here, with the bottom jaw, and it kind of comes along like that into the water. It kind of turns up like that kind of curves slightly and then it goes into the corner of the mouth now this is going to be where it's, where it's going to get tricky this big wide mouth here trying to get this right is going to take a bit of practice i would say okay let's just very loosely go down okay look at that and the water comes down into the mouth like that doesn't it now let me just make sure we have this right um, the gum line, you can see the gums there. It's going to be interesting trying to paint these, isn't it? Um, okay. And we have the inside of the mouth, we can do that later. Teeth we can do later. Let's get the shadow in from the top of this shark here, the dark grey kind of colour. Coming down like that. So, let me take a look. Now, that looks like a very wonky looking shark, doesn't it? That's the strangest looking shark I've ever seen, I'll be quite honest. Um, let me just refine this now. Okay, so we can bring that in like that. That comes up a bit like that, doesn't it? And it turns. Let me just get the angle right on this now. So, it goes like that across. This point, I think, should be over here a bit more, don't you? And then it'll turn down like that very funny looking shark i have to say let's give this a wiggle down here and then the water goes across right i tell you something this is going to be fun isn't it right let's start with the water i'm going to do now because we have a very dark line on the top of the shark okay dark color i'm going to put a light gray a light bluey gray up in the background so that's the plan so I think I'll just go ahead and use, let me see what brushes I have here now. I've lots of different kinds of brushes. As you can see, I have lots of different types. Um, I think something like this, just a normal kind of a flat. You can use a large stubby, but I think this is only a small little bit of water. So I'll just use this little, brush here a very worn flat brush by the way it's 14 by 10 okay i make it kind of slightly wider this time it's not 12 inches high it's 10 10 inches high so 14 by 10 um nice kind of a wide one and let's start with a little turpentine just turpentine on its own nothing else dampen the brush and dry down some tissue just give it a quick dry so let's take some phthalo blue and by the way i forgot to tell you my colors didn't i I have titanium white, Naples yellow, a small touch of cadmium yellow pale, a little touch of burnt cyana, I might not even need it, some burnt umber, some thalo blue, some alizarin crimson, cadmium red and black. That's all we have. That's all we need, I think, for this painting. We might not even use all of them. Now, some white, some thalo blue, and I'm not going to go very, very light with it, but it's lighter than the shark, isn't it, to make the outline of the shark stand out. So let's get thalo blue, white, and a little, let's go for a little touch of black. And the black immediately dulls it down, doesn't it? Now let me just take a look at this. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking, I am thinking it's too blue. I need more black, and I need lots more white. So more on the grey side rather than the blue side. 
if that makes sense. So I'm just taking a tiny drop of turpentine now because that white makes it very, very thick and opaque. Let me look. That's not bad, look. Let's go with that. We can lighten this even later on. We can lighten the top of this a bit more. So let's just go with it for now. Let's just get this kind of filled in. And I have primed my canvas now twice with my own homemade kind of a primer. I'm just taking a touch of Naples yellow there just to brighten it slightly. Uh, my own homemade primer, which is basically white water-based undercoat paint with um, a little bit of PVA glue added in. With a little bit of water. It's tinned out with water, so it's not creamy. It's kind of thin and watery. Well, not very watery, but it's like a very thin cream out of a tub. That's the consistency of it. Two coats on my canvas, quick sand in between with some very fine sandpaper, and that's it. Bob's your uncle. Right. So, Robin, I hope you're enjoying this, and a few others who said this would be nice. Good idea. Let's just go along now with this, and I might take a touch more black into this. Um, I want to grey, grey the colour kind of just slightly. I don't want to go too rich with blues in this because it's a very dark and dreary kind of a photograph. It's very, you know, I don't want to make it bright and cheerful. I want to go like, you know, dull and dark and very, a very angry kind of a painting, okay? Now, let's just see if we can, if we can get this right. Um, now, as it comes on, I'm going to make it much, much, much darker down here, okay? So we have the outline, the top half done there. We can add some water and stuff in here now in a moment. I just want to darken this down as it gets down further, okay? So I'm dampening my brush very slightly again, and I'm taking lots of phthalo blue, and let me see you now, lots of black. And this one's getting really, really dark. Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's go right down in here into the mouth. Do you know, the focus really, I suppose, is on the shark. It's not really about the water around it, but I want to make it nice. I do want them nice, don't we? A nice impression of the water. Lots of water movement. So I'm just using this kind of rough brush now, just for now, just to fill in all this dark colour, all the, the background. Now I'm going to try some phthalo blue with burnt umber. And the burnt umber will kind of green it slightly. So it'll give you a more kind of, you see, a more kind of an ocean, dark ocean kind of a green. And then soften that up into that blue, just push it right through. Look, a couple of flicks here and there. And let's try that down at the bottom, some phthalo blue, some brown. Go right across here, that nice dark, rich colour. There we go. Now, how about that? Phthalo blue and burnt umber is a fantastic colour, especially for oceans and whatnot. And then right down the bottom, I'm going to go for some black with some blue. But a lot of black in this now, okay? We're right down at the corner down here. Now, my next job, the next thing I'm going to do is put this brush down and get a flat brush, all right? And I think I might even take my small, stubby brush. Little green brush, look, beautiful. Lovely for this. And let's take some of that darker colour. Now, let me just dampen this first because the, brush, the hairs are a little on the hard side from a previous painting. So, just rub it on some tissue, soften them out. Let's go for some phthalo blue, some brown, and a touch of black, a bit more phthalo, a bit more brown. And this is very thick paint now, okay? Hardly any thinners whatsoever in this, just nice thick paint. And I'm going to go and just kind of create some movement on the water there, that's all, okay? 
Now I want the paint on the tip of the brush, okay? So when it picks up some white, clean it and just pick up more with the tip of your brush. And let's kind of come down like that. There's a lot of movement in the water now, so it's not going to be perfect like a normal ocean scene that I might paint. It's just, this is just very rough and loose. And might even get some white on in a moment. Just creating some movement in the water, that's all, you see? There we go. And we can come up here and go a little bit, a little bit wild up there. And then thinning it out as it goes away off, out in the distance, see? Just like that. Just wiggling the brush from side to side, that's all. Okay? It's all about just creating movement on the surface, that's all. You could even use a small round brush for this as well if you want, that would work absolutely fine. I just like the nice flat edges on my flat brushes. They're very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with these brushes. Now, there we go. Okay. How's that? Come down here, we can even put some there and even go into some black on its own and even some blue let's go into some black and some blue down here soften some of that color through there and there now as it goes down into the mouth it gets very dark doesn't it so let's get some real thick paint now black and some blue down into the mouth here and i'm always painting in the, the direction of the water so if it's falling down this way i'm going to paint down that way with my brush you see and that just helps it gives you the angle much better and it helps show you that the water is actually falling down into his into his mouth see and we just get some black on its own right down inside there okay now, even around the front as well. Like that. Um, lots of splash and stuff like that around the front, isn't there? There we go. Now, let's just step back for a moment. Take a little look. See how that's looking? All right, that's not bad. I might create this kind of splash that's come around here before I start painting the shark. I think it might be nice to get that in. Um, so first of all, I'm just gonna add some little highlights along the top with my small stubby brush, okay? I'll take some Naples yellow and lots of white. That Naples yellow will just give it that little bit of light, that little bit of sparkle, that's all. Now, I know it's not on the painting, but I'm just going to add a little bit in anyway. Just here and there. Just kind of drag it across, flick it across here and there. Just a case of adding some light to the painting, that's all. Now, give it a wipe, keep it, keep it nice and clean. And let's go along here with that. A lot of fun, isn't it? This is a lot of fun now, this tutorial. Even though it's completely different to what we would normally paint, it's quite kind of interesting um, getting different shapes to work and trying to get different effects with your brush. Lovely practice. And so look, you'd always learn something, wouldn't you? You learn something from every painting you do. Well, I do. I always learn something new. Okay, let's go along here. And, 
Okay, let's add a little bit. Now, the tricky part is adding this kind of splash. So, and what I'm going to do first is take some phthalo blue with some white, okay? First, I'm just going to take that first and a touch of Naples yellow. So it's kind of a greeny, I like greeny blue I have. And I'm going to start just creating the curve of this, okay? Now let me take another bit of Naples yellow in this. I'm going to create the curve of the water, the sort of curving outwards, okay? So you can thick paint just on its own. And it's going to darken as it comes down in here then. It's going to sort of soften off and disappear down into the depths of his mouth. So I'm going to try some cadmium yellow with some thalo blue this time. And a little white. And I just want to kind of get that green sort of... Um, it's kind of a greeny tinge, a greeny kind of a sparkle to the water sometimes when it catches the light. And we can go around here like that and a little bit down there. Now let me just sit back now just for a moment. Let me just have a look at that and see how we're getting on um okay i might take a touch of crimson and burnt sienna and just put a little bit of that to reflect the inside of the mouth on the water here just a little bit see it's just a touch and there's even a touch of it in the water as well here just a little bit of a kind of a reflection it's reflecting the color of the mouth that's all, and there's a bit here as well. Now next, I'm thinking, for the rough part here, I'm thinking just a rough brush, really. And let's just try, hmm, let's try dabbing first with some dark colours. So let's take some phthalo blue, burnt umber, and black, say. Okay, let's try that first. I'm just going to dab. Some of that. Um, okay, maybe a little bit of that down there. And then we come around here. I'm just kind of very gently dabbing. I think that's probably the easiest way of creating this kind of very rough watery effect. Um, and it comes down, right down here, doesn't it? Let's take some burnt umber again, some phthalo blue, and come down here and add a little bit of that on there. Next, I'm going to take some white, and I'm just going to literally... Let me see now, I'm going to take a small little warm brush, very small little flat warm brush, lots of white on the tip of that, and I'm just going to just, I'm not going to copy it, I'm just going to try and create just the impression of the water, kind of splashing backwards, you see, kind of splashing over. And I'll have to add some nice little shadows to this as well also in a moment. Um, okay, a little bit here. A little bit out here. And you'll probably even have your own techniques for doing this. By all means, use them. I'm just trying to simplify this, that's all. That's all I'm trying to do. Make it simple for the beginners out there just to 
say, okay, this is maybe how we could approach this, or this is how we could approach that, in a simple manner. Let's not make it too complicated, you know? Right, let me sit back now and take a look at that. And I will take a pointy brush. I'll take a nice small little brush. And I'm going to mix a little of that dark colour there. With lots of turpentine. And just suggest some shadows in behind some of this. So I can see some dark lines here and there. And we also have, you know, we have a couple around here, just there and there. It does help, I think. And I might have one or two just around the front of these. Again, I'll add some black down inside his mouth in there. And I'll take some black with a little blue around the front edge here, like that. Because it's really dark around there. So you can see now all these little bits that I'm adding, they're kind of making a difference, aren't they? They are kind of helping. Right. Let me stop now for a moment and just gauge how we're getting on. Okay, let's start our shark. Du, 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 du. Right, um, oh yeah, just one more thing I wanted to do. Just to add a couple of dark strikes with that dark colour just along here. Just here and there, look, see? I think that just adds to the movement. I'm doing it very freely now, very, very loose and very free. Don't be, you know, have a bit of fun. And we can even come back to it later and we can add some little white, you see, little white here and there. Little highlights. We can add more splash, all that kind of thing, okay? Let's just concentrate on getting the main kind of painting done and we can leave details till the very end. That's the way I like to approach it. Okay, medium stubby brush. I'm going to dampen that and I'm going to make a nice grey. Let's take some black and some white. I'm mixing everything in the same pool here now, all right? Some blue, some black. Um, now, it's a very grey kind of a colour, but it's a hint of green. It's a kind of that greeny grey kind of a colour, sharp kind of a colour. So let's try some Naples yellow in there. And it is quite dark, so let's take more black. Let's take a hint of brown. The brown will definitely warm it. Some blue. Let me just have a look at that now. That's much too light now. It's actually, in fact, it's actually perfect for the back hair, isn't it? That colour. It's a nice colour for this. It's almost matching perfectly. So let's just use that while we have it mixed and let's just go do the back of the shark here. And as it comes up, it gets darker. So let's take more black and a touch of brown and a touch of blue. You can hear my dog out there who's going crazy. I don't know why, but I'm going to have to go and give out pretty soon, I think. Okay, let's go along here to this side and then Takes a dip down, doesn't it? Right. And then I'm going to make a bit more darker colour, a bit more black, just for this kind of point up here. It's very dark up here, isn't it? Then it kind of comes over and down by the eye, doesn't it? Now we have a little bit of a dark patch along here. See, I'm just kind of 
while I have everything on the brush I'm just pulling it on we have kind of a dark section just there and all these now I'm going to kind of soften together as well in a moment so let me just get them in first and we have kind of a dark section up there now let me just kind of smoothen that just a little there and it is very dark just by the eye so I'll darken that soften it across so just adding a bit here and there look you see now let me stop at that now for a moment and take a look right let's soften this very gently very gently to soften some of those colours together and just knock out some of those brush strokes there okay how's that Isn't that better now we also have some bits of light don't we so we could use the small stubby brush Let's take some white oh a little bit of blue only a tiny bit of blue that's all i want a little bit a very light blue very whitey kind of a blue and we're going to add a little bit of light just here and there and let's see there's a bit just kind of coming along up there like that take a bit more blue this is fun isn't it and let's take a bit more white we have very kind of light patches back here kind of comes down isn't it clean the brush again make sure it's nice and clean and it does get very light down here doesn't it so I may leave it kind of just dry perhaps just a little bit down here let me just sort of pull some white in there try and lighten it up slightly okay there we go how's that and I might add a little bit just along the edge of the head just around there now okay how is that coming on I'm gonna start putting in the lighter color next okay and I think I'll just use this brush um, because you can kind of stipple together you see stipple the different shades together so I'm going to start now with a very bright, bright kind of a whitey yellow perhaps so let me clean this this has to be nice and clean give it a good clean I'll take some Naples yellow and lots of white now let me just have a look at that yep that's the colour I need I just need to get more white from my palette okay and we're oh yeah there it is all right and let's take lots of white into that Naples yellow and I'm going to start just start painting in and I'm just kind of copying it very loosely now I'm not trying to copy it exactly but just loosely you know what I mean and look it's even picked up a little bit of the grey but that's fine we're going to be adding to that anyway so that's the colour we need a little bit of Naples yellow again a little bit of white and let's go up here let's go around the gum line here and it does get darker here I can see I can see that so let me just put it in very loosely for now okay I'm just 
just focusing on getting the different sections filled in that's all and um, we have a bit down here comes up like that and I'm keeping my brush nice and clean all the time all right okay let's get some more white And I can see by the moat there is a very light patch, isn't there? Very bright section just here. The sun is really kind of catching that just there, isn't it? So a little bit of tiny bit of cadmium yellow in that with the Naples and the white. Okay, just there. And it's going to start to get darker now again as it turns down. So let me just firstly just put in some white around here. And I'm going to start making a nice shade kind of a colour, a nice warm shadowy colour. So some thalo blue, some cadmium red, and a little white. And I might take into that then maybe a touch of burnt umber. Let's just try it and see. So it's a warm shady, warm grey kind of a shady colour. And let me just have a look at that. Um, I know on the photographs it's probably a bit more blue in there actually. Let's try that. And touch more cadmium red. Let's just give that a go now. See, I'm just going to soften it up here and there. And let's go up here. We have just by the moat, we have a little bit of a shadow, don't we? I might even add a touch of crimson up there. Just warm it very, very slightly. And then leave a kind of stipple it down into that lighter colour underneath. Now remember I said earlier I was going to maybe stipple some of these joints together. So I think I will because it's not a solid line at all. It's sort of more just together very slightly here and there. It's not a very harsh line at all. Okay. So I'm kind of pulling some of the white up and pulling some of the grey down as well. Okay, you can even see they're almost kind of merged together completely, doesn't it? There, now. So I'll soften some of that shadow around and down. So I'm taking my time. No, I'm really kind of, you know, really putting some effort into this one. I really want to get a nice... A nice video on this. A little burnt sienna, burnt umber, or burnt sienna with crimson. And I'm just going to go in the corner of the moat there. And a little tiny bit of black. I'm just going to kind of flick it out. So it's almost showing the curve of the skin. Kind of curving around. Does that make sense? Right, some crimson and some cyanide and a touch of black. And let's come down here and fill in this. Well, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's get some uh, cyanide with some white and a touch of the crimson. Start with that colour. It's very sort of pinky just around by the moat here, isn't it? Go and just kind of flick the brush backwards here and there. I'm then going to soften it down into the shadows. So I'll take some more of the shadow colour, some of the blue with a little bit of the black, and I'll darken it down just slightly 
and again I'll kind of soften it upwards into the lighter colour. Now, let me take my soft brush and just kind of soften some of these edges just together. Look very, very gently. There we are. That's nice now, isn't it? How's this looking? Is it coming on nice? I hope it is. I sure do hope. Now we have a little bit of a shadow, I can see up here we have some shadow on that side, so I'm going to take some of that nice shadowy colour for there. And I'm even going to add a little bit of pink again with the cyana, that's a nice kind of uh, a sharp mouth colour isn't it, just around here. A bit of pink. Okay. Then I'll add a nice warm, a warm shadow color to this end over here. I'm just dabbling, look, just stippling around. That's all. There we are, and I can see a little bit of shadow here and there, see, just a little bit, kind of showing the angles, different angles of the fish, a little bit here, comes back like that, and this one has a very sharp kind of an edge, just there, and then we have a very bright whitey highlight. Now I'm just going to change my top time because it's very dirty. See look, very very dirty. So I'm just taking that out and I'm putting in a fresh little bit of turpentine. There we are, just a touch. Now, nice clean turpentine again. Now let's take some nice bright white with some Naples yellow. And I'm going to go up here and just suggest some sharp bits of light catching the shark here and there. See? Does that make sense? And we also have a little bit. We also have some along here. Very, very bright highlight there, don't we? Like so. And we've one or two just kind of here and there down on his body as well and they're really kind of capturing the light aren't they especially around here you see so I'm just going to start with a bit around here which is really catching the light and there's a bit we take lots of paint now with this Naples yellow and white and we have a lovely sharp kind of a part just here see and it turns around Shows off that really lovely light, sunlight catching the skin. It's really lovely, isn't it? So let's put a bit down here as well. We could try a touch of cadmium yellow. That would help give it a nice glow, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's nice, I like that. Okay, go over here with that a little bit. Just kind of, I'm looking at the shape of the light, that's all. And then I'm softening it across into some of the darks, you see? There we are. Now, let me sit back and have a fast look at that and see how we're getting on. 
Yeah, I quite like that. No, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to go into the moat. Let's go. Are you ready for this? Let's have a bit of fun. Now, I'm going to just get my brushes ready and see what brushes I'm going to use. But I'm definitely going to use my small stubby anyway because I love this. I think I'll do the gum line first. So let's take some burnt sienna and some crimson. And that gives us a lovely pinky kind of a brown colour, doesn't it? And let's try that now. Let's just have a go and see. Okay, that's not bad. And it comes up. I'm just trying to get the curve right now, just right, okay? Up like that. And it comes down, then kind of straight, doesn't it? Should I go higher? A bit like this. Take more crimson, because we want lots of blood in this, doesn't, don't we? I know that didn't sound nice there, but, you know, it's a shark. I mean, come on. Lots of red in around the mouth. It's like an episode of Jaws. One of my favourite movies, by the way, Jaws. I love watching Jaws. It's fantastic. They don't make them like they used to anymore, do they? Come on, let's be honest. They just don't. It's a fantastic movie. I can watch it over and over and over again. No bother at all. Um, okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty gruesome there, isn't it? Should we maybe come down a bit more? All right. Now like that. And I'll then take a small pointy brush. And I'll take a very light pink. Let's take some crimson with some white. Lots of white. And I'll just go around here to show that bit of the gum line there. Okay. And we have a bit of light catching it then. There and there. I'm using some of that bright highlight colour. See, just to show a little bit of light there and there. How's oh, this looking? Hmm. Die last. He's going to be one mean, mean shark, I can tell you that. Um, I'm going to add some of the pink down around the bottom jaw here as well. While I have it. While I have it out, I might as well. Um, you know, little like this, you see. And let's take some burnt sienna as well. And let's add some of that. Okay, just like so. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Let's take some burnt umber. And I'm going to just go up here and put in some, just some dark lines here and there. You can leave it dry if you like. But I'm just kind of going, I'm going for it now. I'm just working wet into wet. There's no point in me stopping and leaving it dry. I'm just going to keep keep at it. See, a couple of little darks here and there. Okay. Um, right. Take a bit of dark colour, grey dark, grey kind of colour, and just to separate the mouth from the skin. Maybe even add a bit of shadow here and there, look. So I'm kind of adding it as, as I go. If I think it needs a bit of shadow, just add a little bit of shadow to it. No big deal. Okay. Sit back, take a look. Yeah. Now let's do the inside of the mouth. I'll just use my rough, flat little brush for that, okay? My rough, flat one. And again, sticking with the pinks. Let's try pink this time with some burnt umber. Let me have a look at that. Okay, I might try a bit of cadmium red. There's a lot of blood inside that moat in there, isn't there? It's very, very dark. Just where it meets the gum here, it's very, very dark, isn't it? So let's take some cadmium red, maybe a touch black. And then follow the water line down. 
little dab of red look so bits of blood <laughs> i know it's terrible saying that isn't it showing bits of blood that's an awful thing to say i'll take some naples yellow into that might lighten it as it comes down um, in fact let's take a bit of white so it lightens right down then There we go. Um, I'm thinking burnt umber. For some reason, I'm seeing burnt umber down here. When I look at the photograph, I'm seeing a little burnt umber, just a little. Did you ever get like that when you're painting something and you look at the photograph and you say, yeah, I can just see some of that color there. So just add a little bit. Just dab it in there, look. Dab it along. And then maybe a bit of black just towards the bottom edge down here. Because it's really dark down in there, isn't it? A bit more than that, I think, even. There we go. Right, let me stand back now and just take a look at this. I tell you something, this is coming on now. What do you think of that, huh? I tell you one thing. This is going to look fantastic, I reckon. I'm surprised myself, to be quite honest. Didn't think it would turn out this well. Now a little bit of purple, just down in there. Tiny bit, just to really bring out that shadow. And I'm going to take my little pointy brush, get some bright cadmium red look. And let's just put a couple of little streaks of bright red. Oh, look at this. Now we're talking blood, huh? Maybe he's just eating a fish or something. Oh, yeah. That's it. I think this will be... We could do a new series of paintings. Fish or something or animals. Something like that. Okay. I won't go overboard. Let's just calm down now, people. Calm down. Let's not go crazy with this. I'll take a bit of Naples yellow with some cadmium red. I just want to add a little bit just in under there, look. Just soften it in. There's a little bit of light in under the mouth in there, you see. Just want to soften it in. And it's giving a bit of texture as well at the same time, look. Now, teeth. Here we go. Oh my God, the teeth. This is going to be. This is going to be fun. I must thank Robin now and everybody else who suggested this. I can't think who their names are, but I know Robin was one of them who said she'd love to see a tutorial of this. So I must thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. Um, a little bit of white here. Separate that. Uh, bring a little bit of that dark pink kind of down like this. Now, right, nice easy teeth. Let's just get a nice small pointy brush for this, okay? Nice and simple. And let's just go for, first of all, we'll just do a whitey kind of a colour, will we? Um, they're just little bits of ones with white and they have a little bit of shadow as well here and there. So a little bit of that Naples yellowy colour with the white. And the bottom ones are more just like kind of stumps, aren't they? Like that. They don't have real any real point on them. So just paint them in like this all the way along. Smaller and smaller and smaller. Would you like me to zoom in? I'll zoom in for you. There. How's that? Let me just bring that down ever so. There we go, that's perfect. Okay. Keep cleaning the brush in between, make it nice and clean. And we have a nice little one. Like that. And another one just in behind it there. Okay, and let's go to the top. Let's go here. 
I'm going to clean my brush each time I do this because it's picking up the red and it's just going a pink so I'm going to give my brush a good clean oh yeah look at that huh that's what I'm talking about and let's get one nice one over here There we go. I think one more just in between those two big ones here, yeah? And I might add a little tiny bit of shading now just to one or two of those as well. Just with a little bit of kind of a purpley colour, okay? See? Just a little, a hint. Take a little bit of black. And looking good. I'm just going to hit that now with some very bright highlights. I will take a little Naples yellow again with lots of white. And just here and there, I'm going to hit those just kind of on one side where it might be just catching the sun. So even this one here and that. Okay, a little bit there, a bit there. And I might just put a little line around here. Then a little bit of red down at the bottom just for the gum around here and I'm just going to separate the top edge here then with a little bit of light pink I'm thinking wouldn't you? like that yeah How's that? That good? And one thing we forgot was the eye, didn't we? And the nose. There's a little hint of a nose. Let's just take a bit of black for that. So we have a bit of a nose around here, don't we? And we have the eye. Let's just make it a black eye. And then we have a little bit of light up, up around the eye, where it's just catching. And perhaps a little bit of light blue, just catching the eye somewhere as a bit of reflection from the, from the sky. Right. You see, I'm not going to overdo it. I think that's fine. Right, let me zoom back. Well, look at that. Look what we've created, huh? Unbelievable, isn't it? Now, I'm going to take my palette knife. And where is it? What did I do with my palette knife? My small one. Oh, I'm terrible, aren't I? I'm always misplacing things. Ah, here it is. Little palette knife. A little bit of white. And I'm just going to add some more to this, okay? Just scraping it, dotting it around. Helping him kind of just sit more 
in the water, that's all. Um, we have a lot down here, don't we? There. How's that? And I think I'm going to sign this one now. I think I might try and sell this. Because I think there's a lot of people out there who love sharks. S. Conway. And we also have a frame. Let me zoom back and get this frame on this for you. And let's take a look at what we have achieved. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I must say I really enjoyed that. Now, a frame. I have a frame here. That's all right. That's just some bit of wood that fell. Now, frame. And would you look at that? Huh. Well, I'll tell you something. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let me zoom in like we normally do. And there we have it. Jaws. Jaws the Revenge, we'll call it. Isn't that wonderful? I must thank, thank you all for suggesting this. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm very, very happy. Okay, now let me show you the photograph that I was going from here. Look, this is my phone here. So that's what I was comparing it to, okay? And I think it's a very good likeness, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Right, that's it. Grab your stuff, get, get painting. I think that was real fun. I might try um, a series of it. Let me just get this thing fixed here by night. It's shocking. I must get new lights. Um, you could maybe try something like this every now and again. Maybe something jumping right up out of the water. In flight, as so to speak. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. I think I really enjoyed painting that. Um, I'll put it up on my Instagram page. I'll put it on my Facebook page. And we'll see what kind of responses I get. Yes? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. If you want anything at all, if you want my little stubby brushes, um, they're fantastic little things. Just send me an email at stephenconway12 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Stephen Conway Art. I have an Etsy page. I have a website. All the links are there. Um, if you want to support me, which I would love you to do, um, you can go over to my Patreon site, Stephen Conway Art on Patreon, and you can just support me there. Like something small, just help me kind of keep going with all of these tutorials and keep teaching you lovely, simple little techniques and um, having a bit of fun along the way. Okay, so thank you all. I will see you next week. God bless.